you going to do full? Oh, wonderful. It's nice to know that now, actually. Shabbat Shalom. How are folks doing today? So much prettier today than last night, hey? The sun came out and creation is as glorious as ever. Oh, it's amazing. If you'll join me on page 103 and rise, we'll thank God for the faculties, the consciousness to appreciate uh, another day of being alive and being here together. Baharuch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Sher netan yishifei vina leavchin Bein yom uvein laila Baharuch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Sheasani b'tzalmo Baharuch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Sheasani b'en chorin Baharuch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Sheasani Yisroel Baharuch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Pokeach ivrim Baharuch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, malbish arumim. Baharuch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, matir asurim. Baharuch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, zokef kefufim. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, rokal arts alamayim. Baharuch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, hamechin mitzadei kaver. Baharuch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, shasali kol tzorki. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Ozer Yisrael bigvora Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Ozer Yisrael bitifara Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Hanotein leayev kohoa Baruch ata Adonai Utsneinu hayom bechol yom lechenu chazal rachamim beinei cho uveinei cholu roveinu zagni lenu chazalim tovim baruch ata Adonai gomel chazalim tovim leamo Yisroel. Turn with me over to page one hundred and twenty. Mizmor Shir Hanukkah to Bait Lay David, Aromim Hadonai Kidilitani, Loshi Machto Eva Haili, Adonai Lohai Shibite, Lechadera Peni, Adonai Hele, Beni Sheol Nafshi, Zorivo, Zorni Vadonai Hadida, Adonai Hele. Aha Fachta Mispadil Mechoholi, Pitachta Sakita Zreni Simcho, Leman Veza Mercha Kavod Velo Yidom, Adonai Lohai Leola Modeko. If you are saying Kaddish, please rise. Page 121. Eat Kadal, lead Kadash, Shame Raba, Bealma, Divra, Kirute, Bealif, Malkute, Bechai Hon, Uvyome Hon, Uvhaye, the Hobedi Sroel, Bagalau, Vizman, Kari, Vimru, Amen. Yehe, Shame Raba, Mavarach, Leala, Mulalme, Al Maya, Eat Barach, Beishtabach, Beit Paar, Vit Roman, Vit Nase. Vita dar, vita le, vita lal, shmeid, gudsha, brichot. Leila min kol birchata vishirata. Tush bechata venechemata. Da miran bealma vimru. Amen. Yehe shlama rabba min shemaya. Vechayim aleinu veal kol Israel veimeru. Amen. Ose shalom bimramov. Huya se shalom. Aleinu veal kol Israel veimeru. Amen. Page 122. Please rise. Blessed is the one who spoke and the world came to be. Baruch sheamar v'ayah olam Baruch hu, Baruch hu sebreshit Baruch hu mer ve'oseh Baruch hu zerm kayim Baruch merachem al aretz Baruch merachem al habriot Baruch meshalem zachar tov li rehav Baruch ha'ilad v'kayom lanetzach Baruch bodei umatil, Baruch hu, u Baruch shemo. Baruch atah Adonai lehoi. Yah 
Hachid, Heola mi Melech Meshubachum for Adeyad Shemo Hagadol, Baharuchat Adunai Melech Mehulal, Bati Hishpachot. You may be seated. Odula Dunai Kiruhu Bishmo Hadira Mimali, Rotam Shiro Tamil Silo Rabbi Hadira Kadushan Kuru. Alti go for Meshikar Nevim Altera, who who sure that I call her Ari Mishra. Kihi call a loya me meleli, Imbadonai Shamahi Masaha, Hose had a harle for none of the Baruch and I lay strong with Minal Lamu Rosa, I'm in Halil Villa Dunai. Page one twenty five. Oh, I don't know, I'm Shakul Adam Kadoshu. Rome mu Adonai Eloi nube ishtachavu lehahar kodesho. Rome mu Adonai Eloi nube ishtachavu lehahar kodesho. Ki ki kadosh Adonai Eloi nu Rome mu. Adonai <laughs> We turn this me to page one thirty two, Psalm one thirty six, and please rise. Ho do la donai kito, kile o lam chasto, ho do le lo he hai Elohim, kile o lam chasto, ho do la donai ha donim, kile o lam chasto, le o se ni fla o kidolo levado, kile o. Leo se ha shamayim bitvuna, ki leo lam hasto. Leo ka ha aretz alamayim, ki leo lam hasto. Two stanzas from the bottom. Shabbat shiflanu, zachar lanu, ki leo lam hasto. Vayifrikenu mitzoreinu, ki leo. No ten lechem lechol basar, ki le olam hasto. O du le el hashamayim, ki le olam hasto. You may be seated. We move from Psalm 136 that has the whole process of coming out of the land of Egypt. Uh, to Ashrei on 136, which is really not <coughs> about the historical event, but instead about what is and being in the midst of what is what is alive, being one piece, one link in creation, and thankfulness for the goodness expressed throughout it. Uh, this one we say sitting, uh, because we're not on the move, unlike that last psalm, where we're on the move, so we stand. This one is about being. Uh, so take a breath and take in the goodness of being here this morning. Ashrei Yoshve Vetecha Odiha Leluha Sela 
Ashrei Yoshvei Veitecha Odeh Alleluia Sehla Ashrei 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 Yoshvei Veitecha Ashrei Ashrei Turn with me to uh, page 139, uh, Psalm 148, uh, again, uh, praising God throughout creation. Hallelujah, 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 Adonai min ha-shamayim, hallelujah, stars give praise to God. Hallelujah. Last night as we came home, the stars were incredibly bright. And uh, my little one, who's here this morning, said, the stars are really bright tonight. They must like our home. And that's why they're hanging out near the top of our house. And I thought that was perfect. That is true. Alleluia. Page 141. Hallelujah, 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 H
Please rise as we come to the passages that lead up to Shirat Hayam. We stand in imitation of the posture that they had at the sea, standing in <coughs> awe of the deliverance that had just come, as we read uh, last week, uh, two weeks ago now. Vivarech David et Adonai, Leinei kol ha-kahal v'yomer David, Baruch at Adonai, Elo Yisroel avinu me'olam ve'ahad olam, Lech Adonai g'dolo yorech. Atah Adonai Elohim v'chayim, Atah Adonai Elohim asher b'charta b'avram otzete mirukasdim v'samta shmo Avraham, Matzata et levavo neman lefaneicha v'charoti moho habrit. Vayam bakata lifnehem, vayavru bitochayam, vayapasha, virot vehem, mishlafta bim salot kumo evin, ba mai mazim. One forty three. Vayar Israel at Ayad, Agadala, Sherasad, and Ibi Mitzrayim, Vayruha, Metadonai, Vayaminu, Badonai, Uv Moshe Avdo. Az Yashir Moshe, Uvene Israel. Et hashira hazot la donai vayomru leimor ashira la donai ki gao gao sus verofo rahamavayom ozi vezimra ya vayehi li You may be seated. Mid me laugh, 
Avela gadola gibor ha norai levelion ko nisha mahim vaharetz nehalel ha benisha bechecha nefa ercha neverechet shem ko checha ka amur le davi bar chinav shiet adonai vechol korvai et sheim kol sho. One forty-seven. Avel bita tu motu zecha ha gadol bichod shemecha ha gibor hula netzach vehanor rabin oholotecha ameilech. Hayoshev, al kisei ram venisa. Shochen ad marom vekadoshemo. Shochen ad marom vekadoshemo. Vekatu ranenu tzadikim badonai la yisharim navate hila. Befi yisharim ti tala uvivre tzadikim ti farach uvishon chasidim ti tromam uvkeriv kedoshim ti kadash. Umakalad revivot am chaved Yisrael. Every night, every night, every night, every night, every night, every Please rise, 148. <laughs> Rachot vehodaot metave adolam Baruch ata Adonai El melech adoba tishpachot Ela hodaot adon haniflaot Habocher vishirei zimra Melech elchei aholamim Yikadal v'yikadash emei rabah Amen Ve'alma divrach yirtei v'yamlech malchutei V'chayechon v'yomechon v'chayei d'chol be Yisrael V'agalai v'zman kari Amen. Yeh Shmir Abam Barach Le Alam Ulal Mehal Maya. Vi Barach Vi Ishtabach Vi Po Arvi Tramam Vi Naseh Vi Tadar Vi Tale Vi Talel Shemir Di Kudusha Berichu Le Elam In Kol Berchata Vi Shirata Tush Berchata Vi Nechemata Damiran Be Al Maavim Ru Amen. The Barach is on one forty nine. At this point, we take all of that energy that we gather together from our experiences in life of praise and of thankfulness and of being, thankfulness for consciousness, and we drive it into the blessings of uh, Shema and Amida, 149. Sesam, Vesasim, Evoam, 
With that blessing, we conclude the two blessings preceding the Shema. In our 154, um, uh, we come to the, sorry, the, the first blessing before the Shema. And now we come to the second here at 154. That one is all about light and the light of the heavens and the stars. And this one is about uh, love, uh, the love we've experienced and that we commit uh, to sharing with others. Ahava Rabbahtanu Adonai Eloheinu Chem Lagidola Vitera Chamata Aleinu Avinu Malkeinu Bahavoravoteinu Shebatu Vecha Shebatu Avinu Malkeinu Vatilam Dame Kuke Haim Kente Honenu Lam Dainu Avinu Havarahaman Arachem Rachem Aleinu Vitain Bailey Bainu Lehavin Lehavin Leaskilishmo
Elohim, the Elohim, Baruch Hu, Borach, Moshe, Miriam, Uvene Yisrael, Echad, Nushira, Besimcha, Rabba, Ve'amru, Chulam. Mi kamoch, Avalili, Madonai, Mi kamoch, Nedar, Bakodesh, Norate, Lot, Osefe, We begin the Amida together on page 159 and continue quietly all the way to 166.
Service continues on page 167. Amen. Good Shabbos. Wonderful to see folks. We have gathered today for the reading of one of the most excellent parshiot uh, in the Torah. Um, uh, parsha for which you'll, you'll stand. Uh, one, one doesn't want to sort of make one part of the Torah more important than another part. But nonetheless, the Ten Commandments, the Aserat Devarim, really do stand out. Um, and I want you to, to, to have this guiding question in mind as you go throughout. How 
10 things is too many for most people to remember. In fact, you should test yourself today. See if you can name all 10. You have a guide over here, a handy guide. Maybe if that's too easy, do it without the guide. Um, but see if you, can if you can name all 10. Most people cannot. I frequently cannot name all 10. And the question is, uh, uh, you know, which one am I forgetting? And that's the one I should pay attention to. In order to remember the 10, it's just 10. How hard can it be, right? Uh, in order to remember them better, I want to help you break them down into more easily rememberable logical categories. Um, and so I want you to ask yourself, how do you divide up these Ten Commandments? Um, uh, what do you think are the basic conceptual frameworks? What topics are being covered by the Aseret Hadibrot um, uh, uh, as we head into, into, uh, into reading it uh, this week? We continue on page 168. Ein kamocha va Elohim Adonai vein kima asecha malchuteha malchut kol olamim umem shaltecha bechodor vador Adonai mele Adonai malach Adonai
You can find our reading on page 432. We have an extensive narrative framing for the revelation of the divine word, and it begins with Yitro, after which the whole Parsha is named, with Yitro. Um, we might easily miss how surprising this is, right? Yitro is a priest of Midian, a neighboring people. And right before the giving of Torah, we have Moshe and Yitro sitting down to have some bread together. Um, we have a non-Jewish religious leader sitting down to the intimacy of a, of a meal um, before, uh, before the giving of Torah. And Yitro will, of course, also give quite a lot of Torah over himself, some practical wisdom that Moshe needs to take uh, advantage of. And in an interesting way, actually, quite different from what most people think. Yitro's arrival, bringing his daughter in tow with him, Sephora, seems to indicate that until Moses' family is reunited, is brought back together, they aren't quite ready for Torah. You can find that on page 432. Amen. Ya Amon, Dovin Yosef Akoin, Rishon, Parosh Rakan Parah, and Wisha help you to Tasho. For who has an annoying Amaroch? Baruch Hanoi Amaroch Belam Boed, Baruch Hatar, and Oil, Hainu Malcholam, Asher Baharba, Numi Kalhalim. 
Our second aliyah is on 434, beginning verse 13. Uh, and here we get uh, Yitro's um, uh, practical advice to Moshe about how to uh, do good work for in, in a sustainable way. Just want you to notice that last verse we just read, um, they actually bring sacrifices. And the whole elders of the people, together with uh, Moses and Yitro, take a sacred meal, a sacrificial meal, together. Um, it, is not, uh, it is not just, you know, a humble supper in Moses' tent. It's, uh, it's the entire people, which they'll do again uh, around the giving of the Ten Commandments. The elders will also take another sacred meal on Har Sinai. I just don't want you to miss it. We continue the second Aliyah, verse 13. Ki ya 
Yavoe la ha hai ha am li bro ho shelohim Elohim ki ki ye la he hem da var ba ha e la hai Visha ha ha fat ti hi Vein ishu vein re e hu bahoda ti hi Et hu ke ha elohim Vie torato ba yo homer Toratav ba yo homer Hote moshe he e la ha Lo tov ha da var Asher ata ose Navo ho ti bo ho, gamata ha 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 ha, gam ha am ha ze he asher ima ha, ki kaveid mim ha ha da var, lo tu ha aso hu levadecha ata ha 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 ha, shama bekoli ea ha tcha ha, vi hi elohim ima ha. Hey yeah, hey atala ha 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 ha, muhul ha hey hello him, be hey ve ta ta ha ha, et hadvarim el ha hello him, be his heart ta et hem, et ha hu ki him be et torah to ho, vahodati la he, vahodata la he 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 he, et ha derek el hu 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 ba ha. Viet hama ase asher ya asun viata tehezeh mikol ha aham anche mikol ha aham anche ha 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 yil yireh Elohim anche emed sonei vatsal v'samta alehem sareh alafim sareh maot. Sare chamishim v'sare asorot v'shap tu et ha 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 v'kol e he 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 v'ha ya ha 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 kol ha davar ha gadol ya vi hi hu e lecha v'kol ha davar ha katan ish v'tuchem v'kakam me alecha v'hakel me alecha. Venisuhu, venasuhu itach. Im et hadavar ha el, im et hadavar ha zetase. Betzivcha ha Elohim, yacholta ha almod. Vegam kol ha aham ha zeh, amikamo ho yavo v'shalom. Natan lanu torat emet v'haye olam nata betochenu baruch atar onoi noten haTorah. Amen. Just want to name that Judy was called up this morning uh, in honor of her son's uh, 19th yard site, uh, Aaron Samuel uh, Aharon uh, Ben Herschel, and. Uh, we're glad to have you here, and we pray that his, his memory would be a blessing to you and in your family. So thank you for being here with us this morning. The third is on page 435, uh, beginning uh, verse 24. This is, if you've been tracking the character of Moses, you might have learned that he's very upset by injustice, like he jumps into the fray in Egypt. Um, uh, but this is a different character of Moses. We learn here uh, from the verb, Vayishma Moshe that Moses is capable of listening, and in this case, doing what someone else says, taking in a new idea, totally new to him, and actually doing it. And I would suggest this is probably the key characteristic that Moses has that makes him capable of receiving God's revelation, the Ten Commandments, the greatest moment of his life, is that he's capable of listening to something truly new uh, uh, and then actually doing it. That's the key criteria. 435. Samod Rivavat Yosel Aharon Godel Aliyat Shlishit Baruchu et Adonai HaMeporach Baruch Adonai Morach Le'olam Ba'em Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Becharbanu Mikol Amim Venatan Lanu Et Toroto Baruch Ata Adonai Noten Otorah Amen. Vishma Moshe, Lakol Chutnoho, Viyahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahah
Kol asher amar vivhar Moshe anshe chayil mikol Yisrael biten otam otam rashim al ha'am sarehe alafim sarehe ma'ohot sarehe hamishim v'sarehe asarot v'shab tu et ha'am b'chol ehe et ha'davar ha'kashe yiviun al Moshe. Kol hadavar hakaton yishpu tilchem yishlach Moshe et chutno yelech lo et alarzo. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Natan Lanu Torat Emet v'chayi Olam Nata Betochenu Baruch ata Adonai Noten Torah. Sinai, 
Nigbalta et Amsav, Hibla Moho, Hishamru Lach, Ehem, Lot Baha, Negea Betatsehu, Konadea Baha, Mahotimat, Otigaha Bo, Yaha, Kisako, Isakel, Oyar, Oyara, Eh, in Behima in Ish, O Yehia, Bim Shokaya Vel, Hema Yalu Baha, Vayed et Moshe Minahar, Elaam, Vekadeshita Am, Vikitu, Simlotam. My Yomrela Aham, Heye, Yule Honim, Ishlosh Jamim, Altu Shu El Isha, Vayehi, he, 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 be your mushly sheep, your tabo, okay, Vayehi, he, 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 Kolot Ubraki, he, 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 Vanan Kavera Laha, Kolsho Faha Kazak, Maoh, Echad Kola Aham, Asher Bamachane. May you say, Moshe, et a amlikat Elohim in a machane, weet ya to whom the taktik taha, Bahar Sinayash and Tulom Nipne, Ashe Rahad al Avaranohe Baish, Vaya al Ashenoke, Eshen Hakim Shahan, Vayeherad, Kolahar, Meod, Vayehi, Kohola Shofah, Kolef, Hasehik, Meod. Moshe Heida Beher, Malohim Yanenu Veko. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Natan Lanu Torah Emet, Bechaye Olam Nata Betochenu, Baruch Ata Adonai Notein HaTorah. Right as we come uh, to the sixth, to the sixth aliyah, um, uh, when we get to the Ten Commandments, basically in chapter twenty, uh, uh, you can rise so that we're standing for the reception of the Aseret Adibrot. I'll give you a cue. Baruch Adonai Hamvarach. Baruch Adonai Hamvarach Le'olam Ba'ed. Baruch Adonai Hamvarach Le'olam Ba'ed. Baruch Atah Adonai Ohenu Melech Olam. Asher Baruch Abana Mikol Hamim. Benasan Lanu Es Torah So Baruch Atah Adonai Noten Atorah. Amen. We're on page 441. Amen. Vai kra arno hel mosh el shaha va yal mosh va yom arno hel mosh er eid ha eid ha eid ba am pen yer kasu el arno el yer oh da fal mi menur aha va dam ha kawan im anigashim el arno ha yi kadashu pen yi frots va hem arno va yom mosh el arno ha elo yifala am la lot al ha sinah. Yata ha 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 idot ha banu le mohag vel et a ha viki dash to Vayomre la ha varanoi le chred vialita ata viaro ni mahak va koani him veha a ha ha al yer heris uhu lalot alara ha pi ni frots bam vayedet moshe el ha a ha vayomre alehem By the bear and no high head for. By the bear, he him at court, we my ailer lay more. Ano he, I don't know, I'll a heck up. I shared hot say tea, he, 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 may edits me try him, he paid of a tea, he, lo, ye, ye, he, le, I love him, a fate, I love him, a fate, him, upon a high, lo, tasse, le, ha, pestle. Bechol to Munah, Asher Bashamayim, Mima Vasher, Baharetz Mitachat Vasher, Bamay Mitachat Laharetz. Lo, Tishtakaver Lahem, Lotabdehem, Kianochi, Adonoyo, Heka, Elkanah. 
As we gather today to to hear Torah, uh, we're also aware that there are those who are ill, and we want to pray uh, for their health, uh, that they should be able to rejoin us and regain their strength. Lisa Kaplan, David Kimmerling, Dee Dee Lurie, Dorothy Shilin, Sue Tuck, Leah Viva Ita Rachel, Richard Delello, Bruce Fleissig, Wayne Lassen, Hannah Bat Miriam, Corey Rothman, Izzy Mae Sherman, Dudley Hinman, Steve Spielberger, Chen Yechaya Bat Malka, Catherine Bland, Taylor Cabase, James Knifeford, and God Ben Leah. And perhaps as we go around, you have the names of others that are on your mind. Sarah Horn. Sarah Horn. Bill Allen. Bill Allen. Arnie Goldstein. Arnie Goldstein. Judy Davis. Sean Cooney. Davida Bat Baruch Veshifra. Davida Bat Baruch Veshifra. Hakadosh Baruch Hu Imele Rachamim Aleihem Lachazikam Ulerapotam Veishlach Lahem Mehera Refuah shelema mina shemaim. Refuah ha nefesh. Urfuah ha guf. Betoch sharacholim chazek et yedeos kim betorchehem. Shahabati milizok urfuah krova lavo. Ashtabagala ubizman kariv vehenomar. Amen. Me. May the source of strength who bless the ones before us help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing.
bless those in need of healing with refuah shalema, the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say Amen. You can find Shabbat. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Vayomer Moshe la'ahahahahaham al tirahahu ki hihi lavornis otetem baha Elohim vavur tiye irato apnehem levil pi pechetalum vayamot ha'am merachok umoshe nikash el arafeh l'asher shaham Elohim vayomer noyam Moshe kotam mahar al bnei Yisrael. Atem ritem ki hi mina shamahim di barti imachem, lotasun iti hi elohe kesevela he zahab, lotasun lachem. Mizvah adamah tasalihi vizavakta Allah, et alato viet shlomo viet sonoho, viet birkoho, koma sheras kiret shemi, avoy leka uveratika. Vimizbah kavanim taselihi, lo tibne etten tazihi, ki chorbech av enafta aleka vat kaholeka, velo taleb malot av mizbechi asher, lo tigalehi ervat kaholov. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech olam, asher notan lanu torah emet, v'chaye olam notah v'zochenu, Baruch atah Adonai notain ha-torah. Amen. Hasid Kadesh is on page 174. Please rise. Yitkadah al-vitkadah Mizbah Kadamah Tasalim Zavakta Allah 
See if you can identify the column with the Ten Commandments in it as it's listed. <laughs> you should be able to. It has different ordering. Oh, you still have your No, go ahead. No, but just pull off the right. Yeah. <laughs> Slide it off. Yeah. There we go. Straight, straight to the middle. All right. Ready? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> today that Jimmy's about to read comes from the prophet Yeshayahu. He's not in his comforting mode today. He's instead right at the beginning doing something very similar to our Parsha. Uh, in fact, he's being commissioned as a prophet in this week's uh, reading. Uh, this is where he begins his work as a result of this experience you're about to, to read. He's doing something very similar to what Moses does, namely he's approaching the presence of God. Um, Moses approaches God on the mountain um, and experiences God as enthroned in the cloud and enthroned uh, to give us law. And Isaiah experiences God as in a throne room in the temple, but sort of above, not quite touching the ground, very similar to Har Sinai. And here we, we get a lot more attention on the angels, God's attendants, uh, those that, that sort of also hover in the air, um, crying out to each other, holy, 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 is Adonai Tzvaot, Meloch Ola Aretz Kevodo. It's the text from which we take our Kedusha that we say three times every time that we pray every morning. Um, and that's what you're reading here. So in some sense, in case the shock and awe of Har Sinai left you just sort of uh, not sure what the content of it all was, and it pretty clearly left the people that way as well, Yeshayahu comes and tries to fill in a bit more of what it's like to stand in the presence of God. It gives you more of an auditory vision, um, auditory uh, experience of what it is to approach that presence and hear the voices that surround God. Um, if you hear the shofar in, um, in, uh, in Shemot, uh, what you hear here is the voices of the angels, which we echo every time we pray. You can find it on page 452. Baruch Ata Adonai Elohinu Melech Olam Asher Bachar Divim Tovim Vratzav Dibrahim Hanemarim Bemet Baruch Ata Adonai 
הבוחר בתורה ובמשה עבדו ובישראל עמו ובענייני האמת והצדק. משנת מות המלך עוזיהו ואראה את אדוני נאי יושב על כיסא רם ונישא ושולה מלאים את ההיכל. שרפים עומדים עם מעלות שש כנפיים, שש כנפיים לאחד ושתיים יכסי פניו ובשתיים יכסי רגליו ובשתיים יעופף וקרא זה אל זה ויאמר קדוש 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 אדוני צבאות מלוך כל הארץ כבודו. וינו עמוד הסיפים מכל הקורא והבית ימלא עשן. ואומר אוליכי נדמיתי כי איש תמי שפתיים אנוכי ובתוך עם תמי שפתיים אנוכי יושב כי את המלך אדוני צבאות ראו עיניי ויעף אלי אחד מן השרפים ובידו רצפה ומלקח חיים לקח מעל המזבח היה נעה על פי ויאמר הנה נגע זה על שפתיך וסר עווניך וחטאתך תכופר ואשמע את כל אדוני אומר את מי אשלח ומי ילך לנו ואומר הנני שלחני ויאמר לך ואמרת לעם הזה שמעו שמות ביל תבינו וראו וראו ואל תדעו השמין לב העם הזה ואוזניו הכבד ועיניו השם הן יראה ועיניו ובאוזניו ישמע ולבבו יבין וישב ורפא לו ויאמר עד מתי אדוני ויאמר עד אשר אם שאו ערים מעין יושב ובתים 
מעין אדם והאדמה תישאי שממה וריחק אדוני את האדם ורבה העזובה בקרב הארץ ויד בת אסיריה ושבה והייתה לבאר כאלה וכעלון אשר משלכת ניצבת בם זרע קודש מצאת ויהי דיני אחז בן יותם בן עוזיהו מלך יהודה עלה לצין מלך אברהם ופקח בן מרל יהו מלך ישראל ירושלים למלחמה עליה ולא יכול להילחם, להילחם עליה ויוגד לבית דוד לאמור נחרם על אפרים ויענה לבבו ובבמו כנו עצייה מפני רוח ויאמר אדוני אל ישעיהו סנאה לקראת אחז אתה ושעה ישוב פניך אל קצה תלת הברכה העליונה אל מסילת שדה חובה ואמרת אלה הישמר והשקט אל תירה ובבך אל ירח משני זנבות האודים האשנים האלה אחרי אף רצין וארם ובין רמל יהו יען כי יעץ עליך ארם רעה אפרים ובין רמל יהו לאמור נעלה ויהודה ונקיצנה ונבקיינה אלינו ונמליך מלך בתוך האל בית תבל כי ילך יולד לנו ובין ניתן לנו ותהי המשרה על שכמו ויקרא שמו פלא יועצל גיבור אביעד שר שלום למרבה המשרה ולשלום אין קט על כיסא דוד, על ממלכתו, להכין אותה לסעדה. במשפט 
Uchtaka mea kavia dolam kin at Adonai tsvaot kaasezot Baruch ata Adonai Elohinu melech olam Sor kol haolamim tzadik bechol hadorot Ha'el haneeman haomer v'yoseh Hamdaber um kayem shekol devarav emet batzedek neeman atahu Adonai Eloheinu veneemanim devarecha vedavarecha midvarecha achor lo yashuv reikam ki el melech neeman rachaman ata baruch ata Adonai. Ha'el-hanema'an-bechol-dvarav <laughs> Uv Malchut Beit David Mishichecha Bimhe Raya Vo Viageli Venu Al Kisolo Yeshev Zar Veloin Chalur Achirim Et Kvodo Kiveshem Kochechanish Bat Halo Shaloich Benero Leolam Vaed Baruch Ata Adonai Baruch Uvarim Magen David Al HaTorah V'al HaAvodah V'al Nvi'im V'al Yom HaShabbat HaZeh Shenatata Lanu Adonai Eloheinu L'Kdusha V'limnucha L'Chavod O'Tifaret Al HaKol Adonai Eloheinu Anachnu Modim Lach U'Varchim O'Tach Yiparach Shimcha B'Fi Kol Chai Tamid le'olam va'ed Baruch ata Adonai Baruch uva Mekadesh ha-shabbat Shkoyach It's impossible to not notice this morning how blessed we are with a, a wide range of skills um, that congregants offer uh, thank you, uh, especially uh, Jimmy and Barry for your readings this morning. They were lovely. In the version of the Ten Commandments that we read this morning in Parashat Yitro, we read, Zachor et Yom HaShabbat lekad show. You should remember Shabbat in order to make it holy. And that's the language that we have here um, uh, on our on our uh, artistic rendition of the Aseret Hadibrod. But if you were reading it on the other half of the year in Devarim, you would read not Zachor, but Shamor. Uh, you should not remember, but instead guard, protect, or keep. And if you were just to work with these words instead of reading the rest of the paragraph, you would, you would think that the difference in this text um, probably would head you would think that 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 to be shomer shabbat to be to be protecting it or guarding it means you're going to take more care and in fact i have given a devar to that effect but the text that you have in front of you that i've just passed out there's a deeper dive into rabbinic literature and i hope will expand your learning um, so that you can actually understand that there are two different approaches yes two very different approaches to shabbat one from the book of exodus that we've just read and one from devarim that we'll read in about a half a year from now. Um, and they connect to different Jewish practices and different prohibitions and practices of Shabbat. Uh, and I want you to understand that interaction between these different things uh, more deeply. So um, if we talked about Hevruta last week, this week we get to do it. I realize that my giving a sermon, however much it might inspire you, is not as valuable as you working through some text. So let me just highlight what I want you to do. So first you're going to pair up with someone, someone ideally that you don't normally get to study with. Uh, maybe someone who's a different level of Hebrew skill, because on this text there are primarily unpointed Hebrew texts. 
So you might want to get someone who has more Hebrew learning than you do to, to, to work with you, or if you have a lot to spread out that knowledge throughout this room more evenly. I want to encourage you to focus on page one, page three, and page four. So that's really what you need to understand what we're going to do. Page two, you could skim quickly and not discuss back and forth. Um, uh, many of you are going to be so piqued by this that you'll want the conclusion at the end. If you have the shorter version of this, I just couldn't bring myself to print a fourth page. It's okay. You understand everything that's in the logic for the conclusion. Just you missed half a sentence. Um, and some of you have the longer version in the room. Okay, let's study this for about five minutes. Try to do pages one, three, and four. What a favorite is for. Eddie's doing great. Make sure you're taking in page three if you haven't gotten there.
The conclusion's on the bottom part of five and page six. Let's come back together. It is terrific to see people learning things. Just, just 10 minutes of Chavruta can go deeper than listening to me drone on for the same amount of time. So much deeper. So I'm so glad that we did it. Um, who can tell us about the Shamor model, the one from Deuteronomy? The second take, not the one we read today, right? What is the primary event that the Shamor model for Shabbat is relating to. Aaron. To, yes, yes, Shamor means to guard and protect. Absolutely. Yep, you need to protect that day by cessation from, from work. And what's the primary event, Suzanne? Right, so, so Devarim, when it says Shamor at Yom HaShabbat, is primarily focused on the exodus and the, and the experience of being a slave, right? So it tells everyone, stop doing melacha. Don't do any form of work is really the thing that that model is concerned about. There was once a time in our history where for four centuries we were never able to stop working. And it taught us that the cessation from work is key to what it is to be human. So every week we're going to stop. On the seventh day, there will be the day of cessation. Shabbat could really also be understood, uh, and the modern Hebrew does this. It uses the same root uh, 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 for the word strike. Shabbat can be understood as a strike. Today is a day that we stop working. That's what we learn from Egyptian slavery, right? That's the Deuteronomy model, right? Very, very serious about no work of any kind going on. What's the other model? Who can give me... Uh, a word about what we have here about Zachor, what we read today from the Torah. Tammy? Uh, the Zachor, the Remember Shabbat. And it had to do with fruit picking. Absolutely, you can't make sense of that one. Zachor, remembering Shabbat. <laughs> That's exactly right. So if not everyone heard it, so Tammy said that Zachor goes much more to the essence of Shabbat, what the whole thing is about, and, um, and it remembers that you shouldn't make yourself miserable trying to keep Shabbat either, right? Um, yes, that was in that text. Uh, what's the primary event that it's relating to, Doctor? That's exactly right. So the story that we have and what we read today is rest on the seventh day, rest on Shabbat, because God rested on the seventh day. We do this in imitation of God. It sort of hyperlinks back to where we started in our reading of the Torah, right? God creates the world. God stops 
not even because God needs to per se, at least that wouldn't fit with many, many very good theologies that God got tired from creating the world, but instead that this is a fundamental rhythm of the creator of the universe that we imitate on Shabbat. So we relate to the theology of creation in, in, the, um, in the Zahor, remember Shabbat. Uh, uh, first, uh, uh, senior Rivka and then Naomi. So Barry makes a, an important philological point that melacha is not your everyday average word for work in, in, uh, in the Hebrew of the Torah, right? Melacha is specifically used more for crafts, as in the result of a skilled artisan, perhaps working with tools to craft, say, the instruments of the mishkan, like the, like the menorah or the table. Um, it has to do with, with metal work, and it has to do with... Um, uh, the craft of design. It is creative labor fundamentally. In some places you'll see that kol uh, melechet avodah lo ta'asu clearly indicates physical labor, but it's not about the heaviness of that labor. Barry's right, it's about the creative nature of that labor. Um, so malacha sometimes means work and sometimes it means creative labor, right? Um, so th so there, there are subtle differences. Great. Um, uh, uh, and Naomi wanted to add something here. Remember answering what that second model is about Zahor. So Naomi poses the fundamental question of how really do all your lotaases, all your don't do that because it's Shabbat, actually anything to do with either remembering Shabbat or protecting it? Uh, that's an important question that I think Jews have wondered about for a very long time. Um, and Julia has one final comment on the Zahor model, what it's relating to primarily, and then I want to move us forward. good point. I think it is sort of counterintuitive, right? We would think you have to remember the exodus from Egypt and you have to be careful to protect Shabbat so that you're doing that. That is something interesting. I'm not sure how much that's a result of the English words um, because, uh, well, but, but let's, so let's just go with the text, right? So just to summarize for anyone who might be confused, even though you, you've seen it and you've read it and you've debated it and now you've heard other people debating a bit more, um, right? So what we read today relates to Shabbat as something we learned from creation. Right? From being a creature, we learn about Shabbat. If God rests on the seventh day, so do we. Now, this leads to some surprising things, right? Some of the mitzvahs that help us understand the nature of the thing. Um, we don't want to say, if, if we're primarily remembering creation uh, and, and its plenitude, the fact that this is a world that we can live in easily, we don't want to even be picking fruit. By the way, something that Dina doesn't say here because she doesn't want to go down a rabbit hole into New Testament studies is that one of the defining moments for the differences between Judaism and Christianity is, um, is when Jesus doesn't get angry with his disciples when they go and pick some wheat out of a field, right? Um, as in he only takes one half of this and doesn't try to synthesize it, right? He's only interested with the uh, remembering of the cessation of labor, the Exodus story. And the creation thing doesn't seem to register in, in his halachic uh, uh, reasoning, right? 
Um, and that's actually behind these texts a little bit uh, because he takes no issue with plucking wheat uh, from a field, whereas other people are taking issue with it because they're thinking about this whole creation business. Right? Now, why does creation prevent us from, say, picking some fruit from a tree and eating it? There's something that I don't think that Dina quite makes clear here, but when we remember what it is to be, to be a creature placed in this world with the, with the fullness of everything that we need ready at hand, it causes us to stop using the world. Right? The end of that story of creation is that then God puts them in a garden, a garden that has everything they need, and they kind of just live innocently like children, not needing anything, using no tools, not manipulating the world, not making fire. You wouldn't, by the way, be able to explain the, black, the, the very obvious prohibition of the Torah about not making a fire without the creation aspect of, of Torah. Right? And the Torah is very serious about not making a fire. <laughs> it really insists on it at a number of points. Right? That's one of the most creative forces that humans unleash routinely is the, is the force of combustion, right? So why are we stopping from that? Because of the because of the Zahor model that has to do with, with creation. We're trying not to be creatorly, right, and, and do new creative work, bring new things into the world, such as um, uh, combustion does. Um, we're trying to say that the world has everything that we need and have a, uh, a garden-like existence, right? Hence... Um, uh, not cooking our food on Shabbat, right? Cooking is definitely out, not just because it makes someone work. Um, this is the side that's harder for people to understand because I think we understand ethics. That's, that's an important aspect of how humans treat one another, but stuff that has to do with the deep mythology of Torah that has to do with our relationship to God is slightly harder. Back over on the Shamor side, right? The exodus from Egypt, I think people understand that very intuitively. Over there, we're supposed to remember that once we were caused to work, and we don't want to cause anyone to work. By the way, including our auxiliaries, including the Shabbos Goy. The Shabbos Goy is a very delicate, dicey category. Um, actually, in many cases, actually forbidden. We're not just supposed to say, hey, you go and do the work that I can't do. That is not the point. We have a couple of loopholes to work with, but even that, halakhically, is not well regarded. We're not supposed to cause our auxiliaries to do all of our work. We're actually supposed to allow for a cessation from work on the day as far as possible, right? So that model, I think, makes a lot of sense um, uh, uh, to us. So what's the resolution between these two different things, right? Um, Dina usefully, I think, points to the sacrifices in the temple and says, well, hang on. If there's this whole creation thing that we just read today, then how on earth are they making a fire in the temple to offer the Musaf sacrifice? the extra sh Shabbat sacrifice. They're making a fire and they slaughtered an animal. That's not Shabbistic. Those are direct violations. There's a mystery there. You can read about it on page five about how on earth you keep Shabbat in the temple. And we're not gonna, we're not gonna tie that one up today. Um, but there are conflicting models for how to keep Shabbat in the Torah itself. So the rabbis, what are they gonna do with these two different models? Well, are they gonna reject one of them? No chance. You can't reject something that's in the Torah. That's for, that's for intellectual lightweights to, to just reject something and have a very clear, simple system. We want a synthesis of these two approaches to Shabbat. We want to both remember the Exodus and creation, right? So we're going to have both models running at the same time in how we keep Shabbat. Um, we are both going to stop from workaday work by where, for which we get paid and uh, uh, in which we do hard, heavy lifting and labor and such much, right? Um, and we're not going to employ people who have to go do that labor for us either. Uh, that would be a violation of that side. And on the other hand, in, re in recollection of memory, there's a deep meditative aspect, sorry, uh, of creation. There's a deep meditative aspect of Shabbat. And there are prohibitions that flow from that side too, like not going out and uh, just picking even a piece of fruit off the tree to eat it, right? Because we have already everything that we need in this created world. We can just stop for a day from all such uh, uh, labor that transforms the world. Or the prohibitions of muktza, right? You probably didn't get to muktza, so I'll just define muktza. Uh, muktza are tools that we set aside on Shabbat and we don't use them because they're tools. Why do we set aside all tools on Shabbat and not use them? Um, tools fundamentally have to do with transforming 
one kind of thing into a different category of thing. You take iron ore and uh, uh, you beat it until it becomes some kind of metal implement, right? And that you then use to transform the world further, right? We leverage our capacities as creative beings made in the image of God to transform the world. It's not just that we don't want to, oops, I came to use this hammer to, to hang up this pitcher, now I've done work. It's that the hammer itself has to do, just picking up the hammer already puts me in the posture of a user of the world. But on Shabbat, I'm not. I'm just a citizen of the world. I'm someone who walks through a garden and has all my needs already tended to. And that's why I put my tools prior to Shabbat out of reach so that I'm not going and grabbing them and actually uh, behaving the way that I would uh, during any other day of the week. Barry. So is the rabbi saying there's a distinction between writing the Torah and reading the Torah? Um, do they make a distinction between the terror on being sat in darkness because they didn't want to use one of the tools and their interpretation that at least the ten years Well, it's a, it's a useful thing to remind us of, but I would say that mostly applies to Yom Tov. We can use fire on Yom Tov. On Shabbat, we can benefit from a fire that was already there, like the candles is what that shows, but um, it's not really that we're using it. We, we have written off all use of all things on Shabbat, right? We're not trying to create anything new in the world. That's the whole, that's the whole creation model um, that, that, that's going on here. Yes, Natalie. You don't stoke a fire, no. and you don't add to it. They just freeze? What if you live in Siberia? Right. right. <laughs> um, so I don't know the, the specifics of the realia, Natalie, because I've never lived in, in such a situation. My guess is that there were very well-refined ways of, um, of uh, preserving the fuel of the existing fire so that it would still continue to create warmth throughout the day. No, no, my, my sense is that they were, uh, I don't even have the right term for this, I'm not such a Boy Scout, but uh, uh, if, you, if you slow down the supply of oxygen to, to a fire, it burns more slowly. You can keep embers hot for 48 hours. My guess is that people understood how to do that and so were warming themselves that way. But I, I, I don't really understand these things having not had to rely on them. Um, Absolutely. You want, to keep your, you want to keep your food hot, but there's a reason we eat chelin, right, as our primary cooked meal, which is that you can keep it over, a, 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 I guess, kind of a, a, a slow fire, um, which is an example of this thing you're asking about, Natalie, um, uh, for a little while. I want to wrap it up um, uh, by saying that I think that there's a lot of contemporary um, uh, Jews who don't understand one or the other model. Um, either, it's, either it doesn't make sense to us to um, see our Shabbat observance primarily in terms of the exodus from Egypt because, you know, it's an event long ago. Um, uh, but I actually think that is probably the one that makes more sense to people is the exodus from Egypt model. But, and then there's a lot of people who don't seem to understand the, 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 the whole Zachor at Yom HaShabbat uh, uh, concept, either because they don't really connect to a theology of creation they don't see themselves so much as, as, as creatures or because they don't really like the prohibitions that will flow from, flow from it, right? You might have thought that, that Zahor was the lightweight one. All I have to do is remember it. No big deal. I'll remember it. I say, Kiddush, I'm done. No. Actually, some of the more stringent prohibitions flow from Zah the Zahor model. Muktzah, not picking fruit, right? You can't make sense of those without it. Not lighting a fire. Um, actually, to keep the essence of Shabbat, I think Tammy was right to say the Zahor takes us right into the essence of Shabbat, can be harder than just the simple cessation from work. But I want to encourage us that whichever model doesn't make a lot of sense to you, try leaning into that one. Because as rabbinic Jews, the thing that we do 
perhaps better than, than, than many other traditions, is trying not to simplify something and exclude an entire tradition of practice and learning. That we don't go for the, for the easy simplicity of, well, there's just one thing that this is doing, and I'll only do it if I can explain it and it makes sense to me. Instead, what rabbinic tradition has done is create a beautiful synthesis of these two things for, for basically, uh, and we're running two systems simultaneously for a very deep, complex, um, and also a, a mythically powerful observance of Shabbat. So if one of these seems strange, try picking up one of the practices and understanding that theology a bit more uh, uh, in your in your week-to-week -week observance of Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom. Will you join me at the top of page 177 in praying in English for the renewal of all of creation? Master of the universe, in whose hand is the breath of all life and the soul of every person, grant us the gift of Shabbat, a day of rest from all our labors. With all of our senses, may we perceive the glory of your works. Fill us with your goodness, that we may attest to your great deeds. Strengthen us to become your faithful partners, preserving the world for the sake of future generations. Adonai, our God, God of our ancestors, may it be your will to renew your blessing of the world in our day as you have done from the beginning of time. Do we have someone to lead us in praying for our country? Very good. Bottom of 177. Adonai, God, whose spirit is in all creatures, we pray that your spirit be awakened within all the inhabitants of our land. Uproot from our hearts hatred and malice, jealousy and strife. Plant love and companionship, peace and friendship among the many peoples and faiths who dwell in our nation. Grant us the knowledge to judge justly, the wisdom to act with compassion, and the understanding and courage to root out poverty from our land. Page 178. Someone to lead us in praying for Israel. I will. Avinu sheba shemaim tzur Israel ugoalo barechet medinat Israel sheteh reshit smichat geulatenu. Again alei beevrach chasdecha ufros alei sukat shlomecha ushlach orcha vamitecha lerashia sarea veyotzea betaknem beetzato vamilfanecha. חזק את ידי מגיני ארץ קודשנו והנחילם אלוהינו ישוע ועטרת ניצחון תיאתכם ונתת שלום בארץ ושמחת עולם ליושביה ונאמר אמן. I want to point out it's hard to believe that we are coming do we have someone for peace Natalie? Very good we'll, we'll get there. Um, uh, I want to point out that we are coming up uh, uh, to, to Pesach it's hard to Avoid because soon we will be at Purim, um, and uh, uh, Purim should tell you it's time to start thinking about Pesach. So we start with a little bit of silliness, but um, um, it'll be here before you know it. 
Uh, and do we have someone to lead us in the prayer for peace? The nation will not threaten nation, and the human family will not again know war.
דוד עבדך, אל תשב פני משיחך, כי לכך טוב נתתי לכם, תהורתי היא אל תעזובו. עץ חיים היא, במחזיק עמם, לתומכיה מיושר, דרכיה דרכי נועם, בכל נתיבותיה Musa Pamida is on page 185, goes all the way to 192, and we begin together.
sound like a choir this morning. <laughs> this week at Temple Bethel, we recall the following yard sites. Charles Altman, Joseph Applebaum, Rosied Applebaum, Ben Banks, Ann Brick, Mel Brook, Cassiel Cherner, Daniel Cohen, Abram Cohn, David Draluk, Celia Edix, Reva Engel, David Epstein, Harry Epstein, Sam Estroff, Sherry Feigelson, Nisha Feinblum, Philip Fisher, Roberta Gerwin. Frida Glazer, Hyman Goldberg, Esther Goldforb, Alex Goldstein, Henry Goldstein, Sarah Goldstein. Moses Golubov, Ray Green, Nathan Greenberg, Ann Hassler, Harry Cantor, Marvin Kemeny, Tilly Kimmerling. Irvin Klein, Walter Klein, Edel Kogan, Bill Kravitz, Helen Kerman, Sarah Leaf Landy, Pearl Langer, Harold Lapidus, Mammy Levin, Stanley Levy. 
Jake Lipsitz, Annabelle Marks, Rachel Marlowe, Donald May, Ethel Mazur, Fanny Mendelson, Charlie Miller, Ray Morowitz, Esther Morse, Francis Munchkesang, Mildred Nichols, Arnold Roseman, Fanny Rosenbaum, Lena Rosensky, Rose Schulman, Fanny Sherman, Bernard Stewart, Minnie Temerson, Milka Vaisbrot, Ralph Wilder, and Anna Reschner. If you are saying Kaddish, please rise. Page 207. It kadal v'yid kadash shemei rabah ve'alma divra kirite ve'amlich malchute v'chayechon uv'yomechon uv'chaye v'chobed Yisrael ba'galah v'zman kari v'imeru amen yehei shemei rabah mevarach le'alam ulamei almaya it barach v'yishtabach v'yit bar v'yit ramam v'yit nasei. Vita dar, vita le, vita lal, shemed kucha, brihu. La ela min kol, birchata, vishirata. Tush pechata, venechemata, dam, miran, bealma, vimru, amen. Yehe shlama raba min shemaya. Vichayim, olenu, vial kolis roel, vimeru, amen. Ose shalom, bimro mav, huya ase shalom. Olenu, vial kolis roel, vimeru, Amen. May the memory be for a blessing. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you to all the lay leaders and others who participated in this week's service, including last night's greeter, Myra Griffith, um, Suzanne Bierman for being a greeter, Rabbi, Jimmy Krell, um, Aaron Walsh, Naomi Ifker, and Barry Ifker. The Social Action Committee is working on the Mashallah Manot Project for Purim. A list of desired items is in your Shabbat pamphlet. Please drop off your donations in the Arlene and Marvin Shelsky Collection Closet in the Reading and Resource Room. The Social Action Committee is also hosting this month's Faith in Action Meeting with the potluck on Tuesday, February 18th at 5.30 p.m. If you'd like to bring an item and learn about faith and action, contact Sherry Krell. If you like Bob Dylan, Rabbi Stevens' Beit Midrash 2.0 class will be starting a unit on it this week, since it was postponed from last week. Check it out on Thursdays at noon. Save the date, March 9th, come as you aren't for a masquerade and Medilla party. <laughs> Parents, kids, grandparents, and pet goldfish are invited to join us for a masquerade and Medilla party on March 9th at 5.30 p.m. You can look forward to plenty of Jewish fun, frivolity, and learning, including trash bash costume and mask. Trash bash. <laughs> right. <laughs> and mask competition, uh, Mishloach Manos preparation, sing along with Sarah and the Masquerader, trash bash masquerade catwalk and contest, uh, dinner, burgers, and dog. I'm just working with hot dog cookout, <laughs> and the Megillah reading. Um, next week, Saturdays, Mincha and Havdalah times will return to normal. Check your weekly email for exact times. Today's kid and luncheon, Kiddish Luncheon in the Halpern Levitt Kid Zone and Family Center is sponsored by the Edekane Kiddish Luncheon Fund of the Temple Bethel Foundation. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Purim this year is going to be fantastic. I'm just going to add um, uh, something. We're having a lot of fun together, and we're coming together all the time. So you probably know things about other people that might go beautifully into a spiel. Just a little bit of shtick you might want to do about, say, Sarah. <laughs> you should talk to Bob or I about that. Or if you want to do a little shtick on me, talk to Sarah about that. Um, because we should make Purim fun. Um, uh, Everyone has little little ticks and little annoying things they do, so uh, you can have at it. You are welcome. Also, people should remember we have a, a bar mitzvah this afternoon um, for Ari Altman. If people want to be back, it'll be quite the party, beginning with Mincha, um, uh, Marav, Havdalah, and, uh, and then into the party. Um, uh, that should be a great time, so it'd be fun to see you back. So don't, don't use all your energy. Uh, right. Here at uh, <laughs> here in the kids zone this afternoon, page two eleven. Okay, Aaron. Uh, 
Um, who, 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 can you say just a bit more about the event? Isaac Hirsch? Thursday, 5.30, you said. Isaac Hirsch. Thank you for adding that. Page 211. <laughs>